Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bobby Cryptonite here, and welcome to another Crypto Chef food vlog. Today's an exciting one. I've uh, it's not a how-to video because it's the first time I've made it, and I didn't want to make a how-to when it was the first time I made it, just in case I completely messed it up. Um, so this is just a food vlog. I'm going to show you the foods and tell you a little bit about how I made it. Um, I've made a curry beef stew. Um, I'll yes, what I did was I got some diced casserole beef from Morrison's because Morrison's have a great deal on meat. You can get three packets of good quality meat for £10 or £4 each. So I bought 500 grams of mince, pack of diced casserole beef and some meatballs. So that'll do me for a while. And so I'd made chilli burritos last night and I had some leftover stock in my slow cooker, so rather than let it go to waste, I added in my diced casserole beef, I added one small potato, two big carrots, and uh, a sliver of red wine, and cumin, garam masala, and a bit of turmeric, and salt and pepper, I think. And so that's how I made the the beef stew part of it, and the owned jalapenos and the stock that it was cooked in had little bits of mince, red wine and more jalapenos because it had been my chili beef had been cooked my chili mince had been cooking in it. So I've got that and I've made sort of Bombay potatoes as my little side dish. So I've just boiled some potatoes for ten minutes and then diced them up and put them in a pan with some olive oil, garlic, onion that's been sautéing and some cumin seeds and plenty of garam masala and salt and pepper, just stir it and it should be fine. And th this, the curry, it's been doing overnight. I had my slow cooker on a low setting and I just left it on overnight and when I went to church and here it was pretty much ready to eat when I got back. So, that's how it's made, let's see how it tastes. I'll just put my seat in. Now, we shall take this bit of Oh, well, we'll say grace first. Kind of difficult to say grace when you're vlogging when you've only got one free hand. What if I try and put you guys there? Yes. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for the food I'm about to receive and for the people whose efforts have brought it to my table. Thank you for looking after them and their families, and please continue to do so. Amen. Right. Grace has said, so let's sample some of this. Let me just pick you guys up again. Now, let's take this bit here. Got a bit of beef, a little bit of potato, a bit of carrot. And let's see. Mmm. Didn't quite get a big enough bit of beef there, but if it was good, let me try a bit of beef. That's really good. I'm really pleased with that, so that's good. Now let's try these fried potatoes. Wonderful. I'm really happy with that and it was so easy to make and um, so if you've got some free time at the weekend you should give this a go. It's really easy to make and absolutely delicious and I think I'll do some totting up but I think it, it was very inexpensive to make so that's a bonus as well when you're a student. So I hope you've enjoyed this little food vlog and I'll see you in the next video. Tight bye.